what is up everyone welcome back to the channel so today we're going to hop into another mod guide i'm going to take a look at one of the most requested characters that i've had since i've been doing that and that is emphasis nest and particularly look at how we are going to mod her to do those solos or cure nest solos so you're getting those high banners uh, in your GAC battles. But before we hop over and take a look at that, if this is your first time on the channel or have been watching for a while and have not hit that sub button down below, uh, please consider doing that for some more videos and guides in the future. You can also ring that bell so you get notifications when I drop new videos. All right, let's hop over and take a look at Emphis Nest. Uh, so the first thing you will notice is I have a full tenacity set on this character. Uh, this is probably 100% the way to go for this character uh, because of the way her kit works, uh, because of the retribution that comes in. You're going to make sure that you're not getting hit with debuffs, particularly days. That's going to be a really big uh, deal if you get days with this character and it's going to ruin some of the solo abilities that you have. Uh, so you want to go full tenacity set with her. And uh, some other things that you're going to focus on uh, for things like secondary stats. Uh, health is very good for this character because of the way her kit works. Protection up, uh, the more protection up comes off of your health pool. So uh, health is very good for this character. Uh, then you're looking at things like potency is going to be solid because she puts out a lot of debuffs herself. She puts out an AoE day, she puts out exposes. So you want to make sure that those are landing. Uh, crit chance is good because you're going to ramp up a lot of damage and those crits are going to get bigger and bigger with this character. Uh, so that's very good to have. Offense is good for this character. So uh, really anything offensive minded really works well. Uh, the, the main things you want to focus on are tenacity. Like I said, potency is good. Uh, this is one of those rare characters, though, where I think speed is not as big of an issue because you want to be getting hit so your retribution goes back and strikes those characters that are hitting you. Uh, speed is not a big deal because you lose your protection up when you take a turn. Uh, so the more that you get hit, the more you're able to... Uh, uh, keep that protection up going and take uh, some big hits in the retribution against characters. Uh, so let's hop over and take a look at the individual ones here. So transmitter, primary stat is going to be offense. Obviously, that's the only thing that you can choose. Uh, this one's got good tenacity. I uh, got some potency on there, so that's the reason that I go with this one. Uh, for the receiver, I do recommend a speed receiver here, uh, but you can play around with this one. Like I said, speed is not uh, necessarily the best thing for this character. It's not bad, but it, not like most characters where speed is the main thing that you want. Uh, I don't believe that's the case with Ness. Uh, so this one's got tenacity on there. It's got good crit chance. It's got some health on there. Uh, so pretty decent mod for her. For the processor, uh, this one's got a lot of potency. Now this one has a ton of speed. Uh, a couple of these speed mods that I have really high speed, I'm going to take and put on my Malak. Uh, and change these out but this one's got some good potency it's got some health percentage on there so definitely a good mod for her for the hollow array definitely recommend putting in a crit damage mod here uh, it's going to ramp up uh, over time uh, with the way this character's kit works and you're going to get some massive crits so uh, the crit damage definitely helps that out uh, this one's got good tenacity uh, defense is not terrible for this character either and it's got some offense on there so pretty solid mod uh, for the data bus, uh, definitely put in the health one here. Uh, like I mentioned early, earlier, your uh, protection up comes off of your max health pool, so you want to have a health mod in here. Uh, this one's got good tenacity. Uh, it's got some potency on there as well. And then for the multiplexer, uh, if you're going with tenacity set, you've got to have a tenacity multiplexer. Uh, this one's got a bunch of speed, offense, and health on there, uh, but definitely make sure that you're going for that primary stat tenacity, and uh, it will definitely help you out as far as getting those buffs landed on you. So if you notice here, I've got 140% tenacity. I think that's a pretty good a benchmark to go after. I've seen people up over 150% too, which is really, really solid for this character. Uh, but uh, you're definitely gonna make sure you got high tenacity. Uh, like I said, speed is not a, a huge, huge thing. Uh, you know, anything around maybe 230 to 250 range is going to be fine for this character, I think. And then crit damage, uh, definitely wanna make sure that you got plenty of that going in there and you will be solid to get those solos going uh, for this character. So if you've got some questions, Leave those down below. If you've got some comments, some different ways that you're modding her that works really well, uh, be sure to share those down there for the community. And I will see you guys in the next video.